Hey, happy Friday, everybody. Hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. We actually had ours on Wednesday night, but you guys know that. Uh, it's technically speaking, it's actually Thursday right now, but you guys are going to see this early Friday morning. So let's get into this. I told you yesterday we're going to do something a little bit different that I'd never done on camera before, but I discovered something about six months ago um, uh, when I'm laminating boards to help me in, in saving time. So I'm going to kind of go, I've got a board here that I've laminated up. I'm just going to put my gloves on because I don't like splinters. So um, I'm just going to take you through the process of what I do after I laminate a board. So this is, uh, this is a, a board that uh, I'm going to make a shape into and you guys are probably going to see that on video as well. So here's, if you go back and watch number 76, did it a few years ago um, on edge laminating boards. This is two inch material, two inch redwood, and I used uh, two by sixes in this particular case. I'm gonna turn that around so they can see the, the I, other side well, here. I am. Yeah, just yeah, so I they can, can see that you've got yeah. the other clamps on there. I wasn't sure I could swing it around, but uh, so I'm just gonna take this thing off clamps and take you guys through the process of, uh, of how I, how I surface this thing down and get it ready to make a sign out of it. So I gotta knock those clamps loose. Hopefully not drop it. Put those clamps aside. So hopefully you can stay with Now why did you have to hammer that? Because it was stuck on the glue? Yeah, because if you look here where those grooves are, that's where the the actual clamp. Oh yeah, and I'll, I'll show you a trick that I use when I get ready to use those clamps again. Um, I've just got an old junky wood chisel and what I do, because these clamps, if you look at it, oh by the way this is Gorilla Glue, which I think is what I used on that uh, 76. See how the, the glue kind of gets on the, the deal there and it will cause these things not to slide real well. So actually, I just chipped that stuff off with an old wood chisel. Sorry if I'm kind of moving around down there. That's Can all right, I'm following you. with me there. So I just use that. Doesn't have to be really, really anything fancy. Just try and get that, get a bunch of that glue off there. So then the, then the clamp, uh, the bottom part of the clamp will, uh, but you might have a better a better way to do it, maybe sandpaper or whatever. But I just use an old junky old wood chisel, and it seems to work out pretty well. Good job, son. Thank you, Dad. Appreciate that. All right, so got that off there. So now, as you guys will see on uh, on 76, when I when I use this um, this gorilla glue in order to keep the ends. And I, I don't want to reiterate that a lot because you guys can see that and may already know this. So I just use blocks at, at the seams and I use the, the, um, the wax paper just to keep the blocks from sticking to the board. That's all that's for. And uh, I clamp the ends like that so that, and then take that wax paper off of there. That keeps the, my, my ends. On this board, it wasn't very long, so I didn't really have to worry about the center too much. But I, I've got one out there that I did that's four foot long, and I had kind of a, a mismatch in here. So I used a, a, well, I'll go into that on a different video, I think. But I, basically, I use a straight edge, like a two by two, and then I clamp that down, and that pulls those seams together. Um, I'll have to do that on a future video because that's pretty handy too. So let's get this thing all off the clamps and get the boards out of the way. Get this stuff out of the way here. Move my blocks. So now what we have because of this Gorilla Glue, I love this Gorilla Glue, but you can see it, it turns into a foam and it kind of kind of builds up like that. So you have a couple different ways that, um, that I get that off of there. One way, which is actually the hard way, is um, use that junky old wood chisel that I have, and you can just kind of chisel that down. But that's the way I used to do it. It's not the way I do it now. 
So here's what we're going to do. We've got our, our rough belt. This is a uh, 40 or 50 grit. I'm not sure which. And all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this down to where it's not really big bumps. I'm moving around too much on you there, Dad. You no, you're fine, son. I'm okay. following you. All right, so I'm just going to... Now I'm going to go over and do the other side. I am going to put my, my rubber mat down, keep her from sliding off the end of the table. That'll... That'll That's just one of those rubberized drawer liners, right? That's what Shelf exactly, liners. exactly what it is. Yep. Okay, so up to this point, you guys probably have done this, seen me do this. What I used to do in order to get this down to a surface where I could do my layout, what I would do is just keep sanding it, just what, what I was just doing there till, till it uh, all came down to the surface. But what I did, what I found, and I tried this again, I've been doing about six months now, that uh, works a little bit faster, saves actually quite a bit of time, is I found a little electric plane. This is just a little, I, I can't even, I think this thing was less than 100 bucks. Um, I got it set at, at 164th deep, uh, but it's just a little electric plane. And uh, it takes it off in a hurry. And then from there, well, I'll just go ahead and do it. So I'll work my way from one end of the board to the next, and you'll see how it works here. Kicks out a lot of uh, chips, so hopefully it won't, uh, won't be a hindrance to the camera. Hey, Rick. I need to clamp that board yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going to say. My little board is, is uh, moving on us. I didn't realize the clamps came off. But hang with us, guys. Let me just clamp this uh, this thing down. Got that side down? Yep. All right. That should help. telling you that just saves tons of time now we do have a little bit of a mismatch there and when you get to the end of the board you really have to have a light touch because I've had it dip before and then of course this board is already bigger than it really needs to be that's how I make my boards I'll cut this off this is actually going to be a shape but um, then from there you can either use um, use the rough belt again or you can use a fine belt And there 
there it is. That's good enough to do my layout on. Again, it's going to be sanded off after the sign is all done anyway. I'll go ahead and do the other side just so you get another, another view of what it looks like. That's almost good enough just the way it is in order to start my sun. Nice, nice smooth surface there, or at least smooth enough to to do my to do my sign but this is the actual back of the sign that's the front of the sign but um now what i'll do is i'll putty these up and those may end up being carved away anyway i won't know exactly until i start my layout but anyway guys that's a that saved me i know it saves me um gosh at least 10 15 20 minutes of sanding and it gives me a better surface to start my sign with so I really like that little hand plane. Um, and you again, if you guys have a big drum sander or you've got a big, uh, you know, 24 inch planer, then hey, that's the way to do it. But what's, if, the, what's brand on that planer? That's a Bosch. A that's Bosch. a Bosch. And it's uh, just a little, I think it's three inch, if I'm not mistaken. Gosh, it's been so long, but I believe it's just three inch. Yep, it's just a three inch. Uh, and I think it was, God, I want to say it was less than a hundred bucks. Maybe it was uh, even less than that, but uh, it's a really neat little, neat little tool. It just has saved me hours and hours and hours of time when I'm making these big boards. You can imagine on a board, this is only, you know, 18 by 24. But if you've got a big sign that's, you know, two foot by six foot long, you can imagine how much sanding that is. This thing just gets it down rough enough or smooth enough that you can just take the sander and run over and boom, you're ready to start your sign. It does throw out a lot of chips. It though. does, yeah, you're, you're covered in it over there. It does throw out a lot of chips. And, they, and it came with a bag, but uh, you know me, I don't use those things. Anyway, so um, hope that helps, guys. That was just a, just a video that I've been wanting to do for a while. I thought it might, uh, might be worthwhile for you guys and, and save you some time because it sure does me. So uh, this sign is going along with another sign that I'm doing for a restaurant um, down in the south somewhere. Um, and I think it's going to be a real fun project. So I think I'm going to take the time and, uh, and do it on film for you. So you'll see the progression of those sometime in the next uh, week or two. So we'll get, them, uh, we'll get them on film. So everybody have a great night. Um, it's Friday, so we'll have a coffee and questions on Saturday morning. Tomorrow morning, I uh, hope you guys have a great Friday night. What else do we need to tell them, Dad? Um, that pretty well covers it. Please share our videos, you know, the same old thing. And if you're brand new to the channel, don't forget, we don't say this often enough, really. Don't forget, if you're brand new and this is your first video, don't forget to subscribe. So uh, there'll be a subscribe button down there on the bottom somewhere. So subscribe so you see all of our videos, and we do a bunch of them. So uh, everybody have a great night, and we will see you tomorrow morning on Coffee and Questions. Bye-bye.